you would think as a weekly vlog this would be Monday. But it's not Monday. <laughs> it's Thursday. And the reason it's Thursday is because I took a couple of days off this week. Monday, uh, obviously uh, Sunday, Monday was Beltane. It's been Beltane weekend. So I took time off for that. And then uh, Monday during the day, I drove up north, uh, two hours up north to go and see Tracy. Because now I've got a car, I can do that. And look, I'd just done my nail polish an hour ago and it's coming off already because it's not dry. 60 second nail polish, three hours to dry. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's black, so... I'll just put a top coat over it and then it won't be a problem if it ever dries and of course I can't film until it dries so I'm just fiddling uh, I'm just setting up my bullet journal and I'm I'm procrastinating basically is what I'm doing <laughs> because I have a lot to do but I can't really do any of it yet uh, because I've got a video rendering at the moment I could do some filming but I need to work out what I'm going to film before I go and dive in and there's no point getting ready to look like I'm going to film until I know what I'm going to film because if I'm going to do desk down shots spending an hour on hair and makeup is completely pointless so I just thought I would switch on the camera do a bit of a vlog Ugh. so I've tried vlogging in the past and it's always been an unmitigated disaster because I forget, basically. But for the length that vlogs are supposed to be, supposed to be, like there's any rules, but for the length that people like vlogs to be, uh, I think sort of 10 to 15 minutes is the maximum attention span, 20 for a weekly vlog. And honestly, I could vlog for like hours all in one go. So uh, a daily vlog is not going to work for me. I don't have that kind of time. I'm hoping to do kind of a weekly vlog. A little bit of what I'm doing each day because my life is not very exciting. This is as exciting as it gets. I'm sitting here trying to get sticky bits off when you can't really see what you're doing. These are um, day stickers from Courtney Diaz from her Patreon. Um, I don't subscribe to many Patreons. Uh, I've got three. I follow Tanya Satshiva because she's my favourite artist. She's absolutely amazing. She, oh I can't show you because I'm filming on my phone, but she made my, I will insert a picture. She made my favourite piece. Uh, which I think is called Blue Witch or Blue Magic, something like that. Anyway, it's one of my favourite pieces ever painted by anybody. I absolutely love everything about it. Uh, so I follow her. I'm also subscribed to Lena Danya because Lena Danya is one of the best oil painters that I'm aware of. The YouTube type oil painters she she's not too highbrow she's self-taught she shares her information she shows you what she's doing I love it and I really want to learn oils properly so I'm subscribed to her and because I love Courtney's little bits that she does I am subscribed to her as well so that's it I've had a few people ask what patreon people I'm subscribed to. I have subscribed to others in the past. Uh, I don't subscribe long term to anybody. I, th I think the most I subscribed to was I was patron on Suzy Blues for like a year I think. But I like to change things up and there's only so much you know painting faces in the same mixed media that you can do. I like to, to swap things around a bit. And at the moment, my interest is in oils. So, 
These are taking forever. What else do I have to tell you? I don't have anything to tell you at the moment because I haven't, I'm not awake yet. I'm still drinking my coffee. Look, it's first coffee of the day. While I'm messing about with this, because this is what I do for an hour in the morning, I just chill out with my planner and my journal and just do bits and pieces here and there until I'm awake. I know when I'm awake because my brain will suddenly kick into gear and go, oh, I've got an idea. Oh, you could do this. Oh, you should do that. Or it'll suddenly go, right, let's go and get dressed and put on some makeup. <laughs> and then I know I'm ready for filming. And I just have to decide what I want to do. <laughs> uh, until then, I am chilling out with Bye Bun vlogs because I'm way behind. I'm actually watching February right now. I am watching her Oscar party vlog. That's how far behind I am. And I'm putting things in my bullet journal. And then I will start mapping out what I'm going to do for Patreon for May because I already know what I'm going to do but I need to list out what I'm going to do on each day and I've got two videos that I need to do that were due in April that I couldn't do because I didn't have a computer but now I do I have the Mac oh, there's bye bun look see I am actually watching her vlogs um <laughs> my new iMac which my patron subscribers have helped me with get so now I can edit vlogs again yay well I can edit videos again I haven't been able to video anything for a while so a quick shout out for my patrons because because of them I've just been able to put my MacBook in for repair uh, it died <laughs> it died a death uh, not completely it's not completely dead but it's not happy about rendering or video editing anything or you know basically doing any hard work it can just about handle a large spreadsheet that's pretty much it uh, and then it overheats and whoops it overheats and it gets a bit crazy and then it turns off <laughs> mid whatever you're doing so yeah that's gone into that place there curries for a health check um and hopefully they're going to figure out what's wrong with it. It's had a new battery, so I don't really know why it keeps overheating. It could just need a really good clean because it's from 2008. Uh, and I think in that time I've given it a clean maybe three times. Like literally taken it apart and put air, compressed air into the fans and everything because... Uh, with cats and dogs and everything else all the fans get a bit clogged up and icky so especially the CPU fan always have to clean that out on all my computers <laughs> so yeah we'll see what they say I think it might be a charging problem because when the battery is at full since I put the new battery in it's been a lot better and when the battery is full to about 70% it's fine but while it's charging it overheats so i'm thinking it's a charging issue or the psu or something like that we'll see hopefully it won't be a horrendously expensive fix just be something like a new charging port or something like that anyway since i am out i thought and it's really hot it wasn't supposed to be hot today it's only supposed to be 12 degrees and it's about 17 at the moment so it's a bit warmer than i thought it was going to be and it's really sunny and it's blue sky uh, let me show you yeah really really sunny blue sky gorgeous 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 day i was going to sit out the back in the yard but it's a bit windy it's really windy actually it's far too windy to sit outside and do anything productive. So I think I'm going to go up to our Starbucks because they usually have the doors open and everything. And I might sit there and type up some Patreon posts. Uh, I've got some vlog po blog posts to do and some journaling posts to do and stuff like that. And I really need to organise what order I'm going to put things up in. So that's the rest of the afternoon. Miss Maddie. Hello, my love. How's my Maddie? It's Billy Rub. Is it knocking off time, bubs? Eh? Is it knocking off time? 
Should we knock it off for the night? Is it knocking off time? Oh, snuggles with mommy. Nub rubs. Oh, nub rub time, mommy. Nub rub time. There. More? Okay then. Oh, the belly rubs. Tickle the tummy. Oh, tickle the tummy. Tickle the spotty things. Look at your little spotty things there. All those spotty bits. Oh, tickle them. Yes. Is that enough? Do you want some more? A bit more. All right then. We're going to be doing this all night, aren't we? Hey. Mama loves you. You're a good girl. Aren't you? Oh, you like that too. Oh, rubby heads. Oh, my snuggle girl. I'm running a bit late today and I'm yellow. I don't know why that's happening. Uh, yeah, I woke up really late. So... It's like three o'clock. I was really late to bed last night. I didn't get up on time today, but it's my day off, so it doesn't matter. Yay! Obviously needed the sleep if I slept that long. That's the way I look at it. So I've got, even though it's my day off, I've got a couple of little bits of editing to do that I didn't get finished last night. Uh, I've got to do a couple of little bits of matching audio on voiceovers. And then I can put that up on YouTube and then I can relax for the rest of the day because I don't have to do anything. I probably should clean or something, but I might, I will, I will probably do my desk because my desk's a mess, but um, the rest of it's not too bad. My little table over there probably could do with a bit of a tidy up, but I'll do that when I'm sat over there later. So let's get cracking, shall we? Okay, so not a terribly interesting Friday, I'm afraid, but like I said, Friday is my day off. I try to do as little as possible. And I didn't have any errands to run today because I did them all earlier in the week. Yay! I think it's now time to snuggle up on the sofa with Miss Maddie. Is Miss Maddie coming up? Come up, come and say hello. Miss Maddie, is it time just to knock off for the day? She knows when it's knocking off time, you see. No Scooby Doo. But Miss Maddie knows when it's knocking off time, don't you, Baba? Yes, you've got a sticky eye. I'll clean that for you. There you go. That's better. What a pretty girl you are. Are you a pretty girl? Are you a pretty girl? Do you high five? You go high five me? No, not today, Mummy. Mm. Hello, Boo Boo. How are you doing? Is it knocking off time? Yes, knocking off time, Mama. Knocking off time, is it? Say goodbye to the vlog then. Good boy. 